Hello, good morning children. Welcome to the class 8 second language English. Hope you have been waiting for me, right? Yes, I am here today. Here, how things are going on, can you tell me? Hope you are doing great at home and staying safe at home, right? Yes, without me taking much time, let me begin my class today with this beautiful shloka. Yatra naryastu pujyante ramante tatra devataha yatra itastu na pujyante sarva satra phala kriya. What does this shloka say about? Can you tell me? Just guess. Once again, we'll read it for you. Yatra naryastu pujyante ramante tatra devataha yatra itastu na pujyante sarva satra phala kriya. That means God lives where women is respected. Yes, devatas, nothing but gods, reside where women are respected or worshipped. Where women are disrespected, all actions and dharma come to naught. That means, if we, if we disrespect the woman, then there will be, if we do any good deeds, then that is not giving any fruit at all. So, let us all respect women. Yes, children, with this beautiful thought, let me begin my class today. That is what unit 6, all the world a stage in this session 1. This unit will be discussed in two sessions. The first session here I am going to give you today. So, before dealing with this lesson, children, let us see what your friends are. Here, some of your friends are doing something. Let us see what they are doing. Shall we? Yes. One of your friends, Kamala. Yes. What she is, Kamala is friendly and polite. Look at her, how polite she is, how friendly she is. And we have one more friend, she is Suma. How is Suma? Suma is social and generous. Look at her, she is helping the poor. She is so generous, right? She is filling the water of others with her water bottle. So, really she is great. Then here is the Raju. Let us see, what is Raju? Raju is jealous and lazy. Look at that Raju, how he is jealous. Raju is jealous. At whom? Raju is jealous at his younger brother. And look at him, how lazy he is. How lethargic he is. Right? Yes, children. Sneha helps the poor. Then, one more friend we have. Mohan does not respect elders. Look at him. His parents are saying something, but he is not listening to them. So, he is not respecting the elders. Next is, Maya is always late to school. Children, do you go late to school? No, we must punctual to the school. We must be on time, right? Yes, Rakesh works hard for the exams. If you work hard for the exams, then only we will get good marks in the examination, right? Yes, Anu is talkative and never listen to others at all. See children, we should listen to others also, we should have the ideas of others, we should have the ideas of other thoughts, only we should not keep on talking, right? Yes, one more we have beautiful, she is meditating here, who is she? Lekana he is calm and quiet, how beautiful she is, right? She is meditating and she is keeping herself calm and quiet. Then we have the most wonderful thing is here, that is what she is saying something. What does she says? She says, we can do it. Such a confidence she has. Look at that. Usha is happy and never gives up at all. That means, she has a great confidence in her, so that she can achieve anything. Till now, we have seen the qualities of your friends. Some of them have desirable qualities, some of them have undesirable qualities. Now, here is the task for you. Let me see how you are going to separate desirable qualities and undesirable qualities. Shall we? The first one or the instruction is given here, fill in the boxes with the desirable and undesirable qualities. The desirable and undesirable. Desirable and thandre, now yava qualities na nammal itko beku. Undesirable and thandre, yava qualities na now bidu beku on the So, let us see what are the desirable qualities we should have. The first one, friendly and polite. Yes, we should be friendly and polite to everyone. Then, we should be social and generous. Of course, we should be 
social and generous with everyone, we should mingle with everyone and we should help the poor. Then helping the poor, then working hard for our examination, then calm and quiet, whatever the situation may occur to us, so please keep calm and quiet. Then happy and never gives up, this is most important thing. So have a confidence in you, whatever you do, just you keep happiness and do not give up anything. Then we have undesirable qualities, what are they? Late to school, jealous and lazy, disrespect to others and talkative. Children, please inculcate all these desirable qualities in you, then one fine day you are going to be a great person and please leave out of these desire undesirable qualities, these are such a negative qualities, so we should not have undesirable qualities. Hope you will have or you will inculcate all these desirable qualities in you. Now children, we have discussed about desirable qualities and also I have said you, here some of the women have become great having these desirable qualities. Let us see now the famous women of India, can you guess her name children? Uh, okay, I will give you a clue now, she has a famous saying that if you cannot feed 100 people just feed one. Just always she says and also she is famous for peace and generosity. Can you guess her? Yes, she is none other than Mother Teresa. Yes, we have one more beautiful lady here, she is also a famous woman of India. Can you guess her? Yes, she is Salu Maradha Timmakka. Salu Maradha Timmakka you might have heard her name, she has planted and tendered more than 8000 trees and also she has been awarded with many prizes and also she treat trees like a, her children. So really hats off to these Mother Teresa and Salu Maradati Makka. Then we have one more beautiful lady here, she is, can you guess, none other than Kiran Bedi. Who is she? Kiran Bedi is retired IPS officer of India and also you should keep in mind, what is that? Kiran Bedi is the first female IPS officer of India, so and also she has done a best in her field, okay, hope you are interested in sports, you can easily recognize her. Who is she? Yes, she is Saina Nehwal, is she a cricket player, is she a volleyball player or is she athlete? What she is? She is famous for badminton, she has won bronze medal in Olympic and she has done her best in the field of badminton. So here let us all give a bow to these other famous women of India. Yes, like them we have one more famous woman of India, shall we see? Yes, here we have, they have become great, why they have become great? Because they have such a desirable qualities, they have some burning desires in them. Like them, we have one more beautiful lady here, shall we see? Yes, if you have connect with the theatres or if you have connect with the films, if you are fond of films, if easily you could recognize her. She is none other than Sai Paranjipai. Sai Paranjipai, who is she? She is an Indian movie director and screenwriter and also she is the director of the award winning movies Sparsha and Kata. Those are all the beautiful movies can be learned for our life. Here she has given life lessons for us, so please watch those movies. Then she has written and directed many Marathi plays such as Jaswanti, Sakke and Albel. So these are also the beautiful plays she has produced, so please watch them when you have the time. So, these things are not enough to say about Sai Paranjipai. So, let us know more about Sai Paranjipai in the unit 6 all the world a stage in the page number 97. Now children, please open the page number 97 in the second language English textbook. So, let us read all the world a stage from the page number 97. Let us know more about Sai Paranjipai in this session, shall we? Yes, open the page. Have you opened? Yes. Here it goes, the first paragraph, shall I read? Yes, listen, 
It was a familiar sight to the residents of Pune. A plump little girl of about 6 or 7 skipping along with an elderly gentleman. They laughed, talked and had a great time. The little girl was Sai and the gentleman was a famous educationist and a mathematician. Sir R. P. Paranjipai, India's first senior wrangler and Sai's grandfather, Appa. As they walked, Appa put simple mathematical questions and also related fables to her. These included fairy tales, Arabian nights and Birbal stories. Sai naturally preferred the fairy tales to mathematical problems. Tell me a story, Appa, Sai said one day, as they set out. No, said Appa grimly. Today, you tell me one. And she did. It was a fairy tale replete with dragons and princes, talking parrots and hidden gold. Sai completed a tale with and they lived happily ever after. Hum, said Appa, quite interesting. Where did you read it? I didn't. I made it up, cried Sai. Her grandfather was very much impressed that was perhaps her first flight of fancy. And it was the beginning of a wonderful world of creativity. By the time she was just 8, she had published her first book of fairy tales called Mulancha Mera. Sai's love for books grew with her. Books were revered sub objects in the Paranjipai household. One day, Sai stepped on a book by mistake as she rushed into the library. Stop! Right there, ordered her grandfather. Sai froze. Do you know what you just did? You kicked knowledge. That is what you did. Now, ask forgiveness of the book. Sai bent meekly and did namaskar to the books. The same punishment was given when he discovered any dog heard book. With this, Sai learned to respect feelings about books early in life. Children, you might have observed from the first paragraph to the 11th paragraph. What did you observe? One thing, in each paragraph, some words have been underlined and came in a bold letter. That is nothing but they are the new words for you today. So, now we are going to see their meanings and usage. Shall we? Yes, it is my word bank. Hope you will also maintain the word bank. How? Just have a notebook with you and write the new words whichever you get in this class and also their me meanings and usage. Shall we? Yes, children. Here it goes. Let us know the new words. The first one itself, plump. P L U M P, plump. What do you mean by plump? Oh my God. How is he? He is a plump. How can we say plump? Yes, if he is a round and fat or if she is a round and fat, we can call it as plump. Raju is a plump boy, but he is brilliant in the class. He might be plump, but he is brilliant in the class. So, do not make fun of them. In your class, you might calling your friends, those who are plump, dumma dummy. So, please do not ever make fun of them. Okay. Yes, Wrangler. While reading, we have mentioned the Wrangler. Who is Wrangler? Let us see. He is the Wrangler, first Wrangler of India. Why I am mentioning first Wrangler of India? Yes, look at here. A person who tops in mathematics exam from Cambridge University, he is called as a Wrangler. He is the first son, Raghunath Purushottam Paranjipai, is the first Indian Wrangler of India. Then Dragons. Hope Bengalurians have seen this in the Vishweshwaraya Museum. Dragons. How are the dragons? Have you seen? Here is the dragon. See, it looks like a crocodile and it has a wing. Let us see the meaning. Crocodile like big animals with wings. And most in interesting is dragon is the national animal of China. Then revered. Do not pronounce it as revered, it should be pronounced as revered. What is going on? Class is going on, teacher is asking some questions and students are ready to say the answers, right? 
hope you can guess the meaning of it can you yes i will give you the usage now then you can tell me the meaning teaching is the most revered profession in the world then can you tell me the meaning respected teaching is the most revered profession in the world flights of fancy what does it mean wings of imagination can you fly like her with books is it possible to fly like her yes it is possible when in our imagination we can also fly like her where in our imagination so that is what flight of fancy is nothing but wings of imagination radha engaged in flight of fancy such as owning a million dollar house and flying in the sky then dog here most of you have done this even including me in our classroom or in with your books we have done how look at that it is called as a dog here how we have done with our books that is what see corners of pages are turned down is called as dog here why do we make dog here because to highlight some important pages or dog here pages are made to mark the important things so from now you should not make dog here why because we should respect them so please don't make with a dog here then replet with what do you mean by replet with yes this house is filled with everything they have sofa television furniture everything they have then what it is that is what replet with replet with is nothing but full of my uncle's house is replet with all modern amenities amenities is nothing but furniture all luxurious items yes froze let's see the froze froze exact meaning is cold that turns water to ice but here got scared tumba hedrike adaga froze anta kariteve nona here he is getting froze how he froze when dog barked at him then these three of them how come what they are saying let's understand what what to understand whatever we have read from the first paragraph to the 11th paragraph along with that we have learned some word, new words and their meanings and usage hope you understood something now let's understand more are you all ready yes children who is her in the title of the lesson all the world has stage in the title of the lesson we have her so her refers to nothing but sai paranjipai what does the title mean all the world has stage what does it mean yes here we have the title means that sai paranjipai has brought the entire world to her theater stage through her writings and imagination in real life is it possible to bring the entire world to the stage it is not at all possible but she has done it how through her writings through her imagination really we should give a bow to her then what is the lesson about the lesson is all about a short life sketch of sai paranjipai a famous theater personality from pune then let us see sai's childhood when she was 6 to 7 years old girl she was skipping along with an elderly gentleman that gentleman was her grandfather who was he sir rp paranjipai she lost her parents at young age so that she grew up with her grandfather she did not have father and mother so always the grandfather itself everything for her so she used to call him as appa then how grandfather and sai enjoyed each other's company how did they enjoy let's see they enjoyed each other's company has playmates how do we play with our friends like that they were and they were enjoying by skipping walking joking etc while they were walking grandfather asked some simple mathematical questions and also related fables to her but sai naturally preferred the fairy tales her appa used to ask some mathematical questions but what sai used to listen always she always wanted to go with fairy tales because she was totally interested in fairy tales not with the mathematical problems then some fairy tales told by the grandfather which are they the first one is the arabian nights and the 
Birbal, the clever. These are all the fairy tales told by the grandfather. Then this is the most important thing you must observe. The incident took change in the life of Sai. Here dragon is there, talking parrot and hidden gold and also princess. These four things have changed the life of Sai. How? Let us see. One day Sai asked her appa to tell a story, but he asked her to tell a story. She, he did not say, but she agreed and she told a story. Her story was filled with dragons, princess, talking parrots, hidden gold etc on her own. She told her story by her own. Then what was Sai's first published book? This is amazing right? She has published a book in her childhood itself. What was that? Sai's first published book was Mulan Chamera, a book of fairy tales which means my dream child or my favorite child. This was her first published book. You must listen. Yes children. So, this was her first published book. Really at the age of 11 to 12, even we could not able to walk, even we could not able to write something, we could not able to frame a sentence, but look at Sai. She has published a book called Mulancha Mera. Yes children, let us go further which is very very important incident in the library which has changed the life of Sai. Let us see what happened in the library. One day Sai stepped on a book by mistake has she rushed into the library. Gothil nange Sai library walagade kaal idu bekaadre sadan nagi a book smell kade kaal idu bittale. What her grandfather reaction at the time? Her grandfather became very angry. He ordered her to stop right there. He said that she had done a great mistake. What mistake she has done? Stepping on a book. It was a great mistake, he said. Then what did he say? He told her to ask forgiveness. Why? Because she stepped on a book. Sai bent meekly and asked forgiveness of the book with folded hands. In Madilu Sai, Bendagi, folded hands in the Swari and the Kedita to whom? To the books which she has stepped on. Then she received the same kind of punishment. Whenever she has done something wrong in the library, or also when he discovered any dog haired book, in other Sai, dog haired book, Andre, dog haired Madilu and the other pages, na, she used to ask sorry to the book. Like that, Sahi learned to treat books with a great respect. So, this was the incident which changed the life of Sai. Then, look at the first line of the first paragraph, children, which is very interesting. They have given it was a familiar sight, which was familiar sight. In the first paragraph, first line itself, we can see it was a familiar sight. The word familiar describes the sight. What is the word that gives the opposite meaning? Yes. The opposite meaning of it was a familiar sight is it was a strange sight. We call this pair antonyms as familiar and strange. Then give the antonyms of the following and use them in the blanks appropriately. Here what you have to do children is you have to first collect the opposite words for short, fast, dim, beginning and end. Then only you can fill this paragraph. So, first let us collect the opposite for word for short. What is the opposite word for short? Tall, fast, slow, dim, bright, beginning, ending, young, old. Now, you have the answers. So, can you fill this paragraph? Come on children, first read the paragraph and I gave you the answers to. You just fill wherever it is needed. Hope you have filled it. Shall we see the answer? Yes. Here is the answer. An old man appeared on the stage walking slow at the ending of the play just before the close of the show. Soon the audience stood up as the lights were switched on. In that bright light, they could see the director, a tall man with an imposing figure. So, we have the word for short. What is the opposite? Tall, fast, slow, dim, bright, beginning, ending, young, old. So, these are, these are all the opposite words we had, then we had filled this paragraph. Then let us go further. Give the negative forms of the following words using a prefix. So, here I will give you some positive words, you need to make them into negative using prefix. How will you do? Let us see. A used towel opposite 
an unused towel. I mean used towel is a positive word we can make into negative by using just prefix un. A prepared speech and unprepared speech, a successful attempt and unsuccessful attempt, a satisfied person and unsatisfied person, a familiar side and unfamiliar side, an attentive soldier and inattentive soldier. So, like this we can make positive words into negative or some opposite words, how by using just prefix. Now, children answer the following questions, write down all these questions from 1 to 4, show you, then write all the answers and show it to your class teacher or the subject teacher. The first question describe how grandfather and Sai enjoyed each other's company, why was grandfather very much impressed by Sai's story, what was Sai's first published book. Describe the incident in the library. Jot down all these four questions. Once you have written the answers, show it to your subject teacher without fail. Will you do it? Yes, children. Download Diksha app to know more about this lesson. I am your Balaji. See you again in the next class. Bye bye.